Hello everybody and welcome back to Banish. So in the last episode we got ourselves a nice new big housing complex up and running and uh, it's looking pretty good. One issue is this spot right here but you can't do a whole lot about it uh, so it's just gonna have to be kind of like that but uh, yeah other than that it's looking pretty good. We have some room for decorations we're gonna be working on that a little bit today. Uh, we also squared off this coastal area here because we're getting ourselves some shore houses that way we get our clay and soon to be sand as well. Uh, that way it's a little bit closer to where it's actually being used. Uh, we have another foundry coming up and running. That way we could smelt our raw iron ore into iron since obviously we get some from the map. Uh, and we got ourselves a windmill up and running. So now we have flour coming in and we got to get some bread baking today. Along with that, we also need to start expanding our food again. We have a lot of reserves, but it's still probably a good idea to uh, get ahead of it before we run out again. Uh, but we have a couple, like a decade worth of overflow for right now. Uh, but, yeah, our uh, labor account really went up uh, in the last couple minutes of the last episode, so that's nice. So we have a lot of people to work with. we got to get more stone going so we can keep expansion. Uh, but let's get ourselves a bakery, or five. Um, so we're going to need refining, I think it is. Yes, yeah, so we have a bakery there. What's that? Dairy parlor, milking barn. We should probably get some more milking barns up and running in the other locations. Uh, we also have preserves, so that's jams, pickles, out of fruits and vegetables. Uh, we have a lot of tomatoes coming in. It might be worth taking a look at this too, but we do need glassware for that. Uh, and then we could also do smokehouses and some other things. But for now, let's keep it simple and grab ourselves bakeries. Uh, so that's pretty alright. Um, <clears throat> now, we do have that there. The best spot for this would be in this area. Have this kind of as a food... Maybe we do a food production center in here. That way over here can stay as farms as we continue to expand. That way it's reasonably close to here, so all the markets. And future expansion probably up into here. I have a plan for a big, big area. I'm thinking that might be a good spot for it because it's nice and big and empty. Uh, so yeah, we'll do this as food production. Uh, now, I can't see a damn thing here, so what we're going to do, since we have a lot of extra people, uh, we can remove all of these resources. Uh, we are also going to get stone up and running as well over here, so let's, let's get all of this purged and clean for us. That way we can see what we're doing, and most of that should go into here, but that'll keep people busy for a little bit. Uh, we also have one person without a job. You're a woodcutter again. A kilnsman. Um, why woodcutter? Did we get rid of another worker here? No. Uh, why? Oh, I'm confused now. I don't think we did. What's with that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we turned off lumber. Yeah, we turned off lumber. Because we're overflowing in lumber right now. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, we do have this. So you can be digging clay and we'll add a worker. Two workers into that. And then how many clays are we doing over here? <clears throat> uh, so we got one, two, three. So we're going to want to replace these. So we'll do two more for clay. Uh, and then we can just uh, turn those over to more reeds. Because that wouldn't really be a problem. Uh, and you guys are making quick work of this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so we can get uh, one, two. We'll get this road coming in along this whole way. Because I assume that this is going to be mostly all the same thing. Just a lot of sand and clay. Uh, did my volume get louder? Why does it seem so loud? Probably all the mass tree cutting. Uh, and then we have this road here, which get my better view so I can actually see. So that's going to come... What's with that? What's here? Nothing. We'll just uh, let that clear out. We do have a trader. Do you got seeds? No. I know we could request seeds. I'm not in a huge rush. We should also... Uh, so many things. Oh, what's your issue? Uh, oh, it's because this got finished. Uh, so this is going to be smelting our iron ore. Uh, so we can allow... Two workers, three, four. I don't know how much... I don't think we actually had that much iron ore coming in the grand scheme of things. So let's just have one worker. And that should be able to keep up. Because the only iron ore we get is from nature. 
So that should get processed reasonably all right. Uh, so why are... Oh, you're all fine now. So we'll have that come down and meet up with that. Uh, and then we can get ourselves our bakeries up and running now that we can see what we're doing. And we'll keep it paused for a sec so we can get a few things up and running. Uh, so, I don't know how many bakers we're going to need for this. Because it really depends on how much that's outputting. And really what we're going to want is enough uh, flour mills to basically consume all the rye we're making. Oh, that's not true because we also have rye being used for this. But I'm sure they could share. I'm sure they'd be fine sharing. Uh, so let's do it on this corner and work our way towards the water. So we could do one, two, we could do three if we get that corner done. That was for that corner right there. Get rid of that, and we can get one more. I don't know if three is too many or not enough, because I don't get good enough production numbers and input and outputs to be able to math it all out, uh, which is both kind of good and bad. Um, if I had the ability to see all of the numbers, then what am I looking for? Food. Production. Can't multitask well. Uh, if I had... Did I not just fix that? I guess I didn't, because I went off of that. So then we do that whole area. Now that should be good. Um, if I had all the numbers, I'd be tempted to try to math it out. And since I don't, I could just make it sloppy and... Just basically every step along the production chain, just have it so it consumes more than it uses. That way we can make sure we don't have low tier resources piling up. Uh, and these are ready to go. So you're going to need an extra worker. Uh, you could have one, two, and clay. The worker, one, two, and clay. Uh, and then you guys over here can switch. Uh, we could see how these do for turtles and frogs legs. Now that we've got more homes, reeds would probably be the smart option. And then some more fire bundlers, just make sure we keep up. Now, along with that, fire bundlers can also use other things. Uh, we got... Let me click it. Uh, okay, I'm not worried about any of those then. Reeds are fine. But yeah, a couple more fire bundlers might not be a bad option. We do have space over here. What are you? You're a potter. Uh, that potter is going to need to get moved as well. We got a potter over here too, right? Pointer. No. We have brickworks. I don't think so. Uh, so we'll get a potter over here because there's no reason to have it over there anymore. Uh, so that's going to be in here, potter. And that's not going to fit in that space. It doesn't make sense to put it here. One does fit here, but that'll make it so it's one tile of empty space there, because I'm assuming I could find a building that fits nicely in that opening. So one that fits perfectly in here would be ideal. So we can take another step further this way. Uh, and then that is a walkway through there. We should probably get a road just because we kind of lined them up on purpose for that. Uh, so we don't need another road right here. So if we grab that, I'm sure we could find something to fit in... Those three tiles. And we'll get a couple roads in just to square this off. So we can have a road that comes over here. Uh, and then that's the front of the building there. So we need a road here. Assuming that'll probably come straight there. So we need a building there, building there. Find something that fits in here. One, two, three, four. Four tiles. I'm sure there's something. Uh, we can get in there. And we want... Right through the middle here. Well, that's kind of weird. Because it allows it, but it doesn't look like it actually makes sense. But we'll do it anyway. Uh, we can also do there, but I'll leave it. Uh, I think that's mostly just so you could add decoration. That one I don't get, but in the front here, the extra spaces are for decorations and shit. Um, so and that's fine the way it is. Those are fine the way they are. Do we need any other roads? We do want... Can extend these. Get that corner piece there, that corner piece there. Uh, you can have that going up to your door. Back this one off, because I don't need that going that far. Uh, and then we also have back here. So we've already decided that we're not going to worry about trying to align things. We could align that road anyways. 
just so we have a straight road instead of a divoting in one and we could use some decorations uh so then we have a door there you can have one there you can have one then i'll just go straight up against this whole back plate that's good there and then you're gonna want one at your door and door and none of these should have doors nope so that's all decorative space uh you guys got that in okay and that's looking all right so then we'll start removing a few things because we have a lot of excess that is sitting around uh so that's already been dealt with um that's the oil press i want that around for when we need to actually know that was kind of a waste but what can you do We'll just keep them if we ever need more wool. Uh, that is the homewares maker. We don't need that. That's a building supplies. We'll keep that because it's not really hurting anything and the more is good. Uh, the potter can go away. And then those workers will go into the new potter. Is this actually doing anything still? No, these are fucking useless. Um... We want to get rid of these well you can swap that one over to firewood it's the real question is is 33 firewood per person even worth having because obviously these are producing quite a bit we need 10 of these to make up for one of these and worker-wise, these are obviously much better, but it does take logs, so you gotta count that into it. Um, and we are eventually gonna get the barges and stuff, so I could say we could probably get rid of these. Uh, so what we're gonna want is no workers for that. So just get rid of that, get rid of that. And what's this here? That's our other... Oh, we had two potters? Was that a potter? I think yes. Um... Based on the amount of workers we have here, yes. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Uh, so let's get rid of this as well. Because we are making homewares out of rugs as well. I and mean, you're up and running, so you're good. Uh, and you're just, yeah, one option. What are you lacking? Uh, you got not enough rugs. So we can include another worker here. That way we can produce more rugs out of the wool. Uh, we could also sell rugs if we want. What's your issue? So, oh yeah, we don't have cloth. Which, uh, we can also do that from linen, but not silk. Because we do have the ability to start making silk. We just gotta get to it. There's a million things to do. Uh, you're lacking... Coal? But you're full on coal. And you're not at the limit. So how are you lacking coal? I wonder how much it needs for a cycle. I'm assuming their workers are off doing that. Uh, if we go... We click that. You are... Not hauling coal. Uh, can we... Yeah, that's pinned. Uh, next worker, please. Next worker, please. None of them are grabbing coal at the moment. Oh, there's our limit. <clears throat> so maybe it preempt. No, because now it stopped. Oh, that's kind of confusing. But whatever. Uh, just out of curiosity, do you have coal in here? Uh, coal would be up at the top. No. You have coal over here. No. So, if you're stopped, are we out of coal? Yes, we are. Okay. And you guys are ready to... Okay, let's pause it for a sec. Uh, so... Oh, because... Son of a bitch. When we upgraded it, it reset it to iron ore and not coal. So we've been getting... That explains where all the iron ore is coming from. Because it seemed like we sh shouldn't really have that much. So we could have... Oh, our tools are running out too because we had no coal for the steel. Oh boy, gotta keep that one in mind. Speaking of that... Son of a bitch. Okay. Got to keep that in mind. When we upgrade, it resets it. Okay. Oh, and that needs to get redone soon. We don't have the oil yet. Okay. 
yeah, that could have been really bad because we are low on tools. We might still run out for a short time. Uh, for these bakers, we can get two workers in each. Two, three, four, five, six. And you can make... Oh, there's options. Why? Uh, because there's... Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so we could make just bread out of flour. And then work towards... We do have some cheese and butter. So what we could do... Uh, that one make bread out of flour. That one can make bread out of flour and butter. This one can make bread out of flour and cheese. Because that way we have more food variety. Just because we can. I don't know if one's more effective than the other. There's no way to really see that. So that'll be fine. Uh, and then you guys are all full on stuff. Because we're at our resource limit. And by resource limit... That should be getting consumed as we're using our lumber. Yeah, slowly. Uh, you got seeds. Yes. Now, is there... Let's sec. Is there anything in particular we need? I don't think any of those do anything special. But if we wanted all, we'd need 10,500 value. Now, out of curiosity, do we have a we have a lot of candles? We could turn those into fire bundles as well. Um, I don't know where we got the gold guild gilder. Uh, is there anything? God, look at all that iron ore. God, that pisses me off. At least I know now. It is what it is. Uh, we can sell pea coats quite a bit of those. I think I don't remember what they are worth though. Uh I don't know. Why is it gotta be difficult? We could sell off some food, but I know that we're on our edge for how much we're producing. So I'd rather not. You know what? We we don't need any of those seeds for anything in particular. Uh, just a quick look. Right there. No. Because none of those are going to make us oil. And that seems to be what we really need right now. So, let's not worry about it. And we got to hope that our tools don't run out while uh, this coal fixes itself. Now, you're also at capacity... So we want to raise your mineral limit. That way you can start pumping it in. Because I'm assuming the iron ore is filling that limit up. Yeah, because that wouldn't run otherwise. Alright, so that's alright. We got it all figured out. Uh, now, we do want more stone. Because even though we're at 400, we're going to want to keep pushing out more homes and shit. Uh, so we can get one more. And that's in here. And, oh, sorry, in here. And we can get one. Now, we are going to not want to use the mountain. Uh, because... Some of these do need mountain. What's that? Uh, placer miner. A waterside method of harvesting precious, precious ore such as gold and silver. Uh, well, I'm assuming we'd probably not want to do that. We'd probably want to mine. Although, I think that might be the only way to get gold and silver. Oh, we could get it from the precious mine as well. Yeah, because the waterfront's probably more worth it for other stuff. Oh, well, that's not particularly large. Although it wouldn't fit in this area. Or this area. So we'd have to find a new spot specifically for that. Um, either way, what we can do is have... We're going to want to trim this mountain back a little too because it's going to be irritating. But if we do some stone production just off of this uh, so that would line up with that road so we could do one oh, face it the right way do one here and then if we want we could do another one off this direction and that gives us a bit of room for before we hit the mountain that should be fine and that'll just give us the extra capacity and if that one none remains uh, 
that. So we're going to have to just replace that entirely as well. There's still a little bit left, but it does need to get changed. Hey, where'd my finger go over here? Uh, and there you all go. Uh, can I have the scrolly one, please? So we have 44. Not including all the people that just got kicked out. Uh, and since we don't have the... Oh, we have sickness. And since... Oh, we should probably get a hospital over in that area, too. And maybe even one in the center area. Okay, we'll deal with this in a sec. Uh, so first, let's remove this. We'll rebuild the new one. Uh, we'll get ourselves a... Oh, boy. Where's the hospital? That would be in here. Uh, so we have a city hospital and the hospital hospital. I'm assuming this one will be able to get upgraded because it's one of those uh, modded buildings. Too bad that can't go in there. Um, well, I would kind of like things to be not touching over here because all this stuff's going to get reworked. But we could do it in this area. Although you shouldn't really put a hospital right beside your food production. That seems like a good way to get people sick, but uh, whatever. It's fine. So I'll go up against there because that does have a road on the back. And then we can do one... Hey, oh, facing the wrong way. That could have fit if it was an entrance on the other side. Um, That does fit in here, but then that gives us a two-tile weirdness there. Would fit it over here. That would give us a one-tile weirdness there, but if we flip it this way, that gets rid of the weirdness. Because we'll be able to adjust from that. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, and then we can hopefully speed that up without too many people getting sick. And we are running out of tools. Uh, we should get our tool production going over here too. Just because all the resources at this point, except for the iron. But that's not a huge deal. And I guess lumber too. Well, we could still get one going over here anyway. Um, because everything is... We're getting the iron and stuff over here soon. Uh, so, we want ourselves a metalsmith. Uh, yes. And that does fit into that spot there. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Buildings that just fit the system that we have. Okay. And that should be done soon. And then all these workers will go right into there. And we'll get another 22. And then we have enough stone coming in where we can do a bunch more homes when we need it. Uh, we do have to get some homes and stuff for the farms that are going to be over here. Because these people are designed to be working in the production side of things over in this area. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the tools are... They're, they're kind of keeping up. It's getting even-ish. Uh, and then we are low on... Yeah, tools, I know. Okay, so then you need 25... Or 22, rather. Then all those workers should instantly go there. And that needs to get rebuilt. Okay, so we'll get a mine. Mine. This isn't going to be here forever. I, oh, we need to fly on the train first. Uh, so we can do... All of that. Fix it. A new one back, please. Okay, and then I'll be good. That should get done. Yeah, it's getting done right now. All right. Uh, we should also look at our building supplies and see what we're at. Because I know we are producing quite a bit now. But we don't want to overproduce it. Oh, that's this. So we got to get another church. It's fine. Just a million things to do and never enough time. At least we got the workforce to get everything done very quickly at this point. Uh, so you're going to... Oh, you can make canteens? I don't know what that does. Oh, boy. Uh, I thought it said it... Did I read that description wrong and say that they use tools instead of make tools? Yes. <laughs> I, I did. Uh, it makes blah, blah, blah by heating and folding materials into shapes using a range of hammers and tools. I just saw hammers and tools and my brain is like, yeah, it'll make hammers and tools. Although I knew hammers weren't a thing. Uh, so we're going to want the city blacksmith. Which... Hmm. We want to do this. It's not a big deal. It just kind of slows down what I was looking at doing. Uh, if we can fit this in here, that gives us, what, a two-tile 
three tiles. There's not a whole lot of three wide and reasonably long things. So we could do it here and then have a bit of green space right there. Not exactly ideal, but whatever. Uh, and then there's our hospital coming in. Uh, this one's good to go, so we can use a doctor in there. And then we'll just get an extra doctor because that will be done very shortly. Uh, it, we did fix the sickness already, so that's not a problem. You, Smelter, why are you lacking a worker? Because it's in here. Uh, sorry. There. Um, so we don't really want you doing anything at the moment. No. But it is good to know where we do our pewterware and silverware. Because we're going to need that for the fancy home shit. Uh, so for now, let's just turn that off. Did... I clicked it. Must not have registered. Okay, so that's good. Uh, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. That's done. Uh, so let's get... We need 47. Because that's... Oh, that's going to need to be 22. 22, oops, 47. So that's 22, 22, plus the 5 from here. And our tools are getting better now. That's good. Uh, you're a stone cutter. Oh, they're fixing themselves. Okay. Uh, now, we do want to get these farms up and running. So, the best way to do this, since we have the workers, we, have, we don't need that. Although, I am curious on our home to people ratio now that we got things changing. Uh, still, nowhere near enough homes for all the families. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what we can do is get ourselves a stockpile in here because we're going to mass purge a large area here so we can start doing some nice pretty farms. Um, so, stockpile. We'll just do a general stockpile. And we can just do it on the back of this for now. Goes to there. So that's going to be a 15 by... doesn't have to be super large. How wide is that? Uh, that is 7 wide. So what we can do is have a seven wide and we'll do a road. That way when we need more stone, we can get rid of that one and it'll just fit. We can do another one 15 by seven there and that should be enough. Maybe do another one. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we can just mass chop this entire forest. That'll fix our log. We don't have a log issue. Never mind. Uh, so. The farms. It'd be nice to still work along the river here. So we'll do... Oh boy. How much do we want to do? Are we going to have to do any big projects anytime soon? Because last time they cut a lot very quick. Let's pause. It's going to get laggy. Um, get all of that. That's a lot. But it'll be worth it. I think. I hope. Uh, now, that also does slightly interfere with that. I don't know where the cutting stopped. It looks like right there, so that's not going to interfere. Okay, so that's good. We don't even really need that anymore. Uh, out of curiosity, because the only thing that these are doing at this point is... Well, things that we need anyway, is getting us logs. Um, or the barge. Oh, I don't want to do... Oh. Okay, that's a problem. We're going to lose all of our chickens. Um. What do we do about that? Because we have to kill them. This is what I get for having just literally one pen. We could get rid of them. I'm not too concerned. Because we can... We don't have any space for a pasture. We could do a small pasture here. Just to store some extra. That way we have them. Oh, you know what we can do? Possibly. Uh, those were leghorns. Can I throw some into here? Uh, up here. No. It would be here if it was... Um, so what we'll do is we'll see if we can keep them. Not, it shouldn't spread to the crops. It should just spread to other animals, which obviously there aren't any. Um, 
So let's do... Oh, we don't want that pasture. We want the fence pasture. Just grab a small pasture right here. You'll see if they can get that built quick enough. Our tools are bad again. Has this been done? Yes. Uh, can you have two workers? Two workers. Steel tool. Thank you. And your fire bundles are full. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, our food's going down. I'm not too worried about it again. Uh, and then you are lacking the butter and you're lacking the cheese. Uh, the flower flower one. 500. I don't know if that's good or bad. But we should get ourselves... So in our new farm area, we'll do a handful of these as well. How are you doing? 37. It's going. It's going. Uh, what are you lacking? Uh, tools. I know. Working on it. Uh, although we're up at 27 now, so it's getting worse. Oh boy! Uh, what do you have? I'm not worried about that. We got new tool producer, plus the old ones, so that should be fine. Um, is our coal maybe not enough? Uh, you're lacking a worker? Oh, yeah, no. It's 22, plus 22, that's 44. 49. I'm fucking stupid. I was short too. Okay. We should probably make our uh, tool stockpile a little higher too. Uh, can you get leghorns? You'll get 10 moved over. You can have a worker. Yeah, we're not worried about the production of this. It's just some chicken storage. And we'll get the rest slaughtered here. And we're going to want to split. I'm not sure if that's going to spread it to that with them. But there's only one way to find out. So those are automatically moving and we'll just uh, kill off the rest. Actually, will that eventually just go away on its own? Or will it just kind of sit there and fester for a while? Oh, a good question, Ryan. Normally I just kill them all off because there's other, <laughs> there, normally there's other uh, pastures nearby that I don't want things spreading to. But I've never, I don't think I've ever just let it do its thing. That did not get harvested. Okay, it's okay. All these farms are going to go for more effective methods. Okay. Well, they are auto-killing them, or it's getting killed. Let's uh, slaughter them all. Okay, we'll just get them all slaughtered. And you are got 11 of your 10, so you're fine. You're fine. Okay. And then you guys haven't even started out here. Oh yeah, you have. A little bit. It's going to take a while. I'm not too worried about it. Um, okay, so is there anything else we gotta keep in mind for right now? Uh, our children rate is looking a little slow. So maybe another housing expansion? Now, we are gonna be doing a housing expansion out here for the farms. So I don't really wanna do it over here if it's not really necessary. Because I think we should be, like, there's a lot of workers over here. I think we should be all right overall. Um, maybe we do one cluster over here. I don't know if I want to use this diagonal piece of river for anything or just have it so it's there. Just because the straight edges obviously are the ones that you really want to work with. But diagonals are kind of a nightmare. So maybe we keep that diagonal. Um, I wonder if it would be worth, I know there's, uh, where would that be? We are at time, so let's just, uh, fuck around and look at this for a sec. Because that looks pretty 45 degrees. And we might be able to utilize, or even if it's almost there, uh, where would that be? Under decorations. Walls and fences. No, I'm looking for the key. Is that themed? Yes. Uh, was that walls and shoreline? Yes. Key. We all know how much I enjoy keys. But there's a key wall diagonal. 
could do a uh, strain that whole thing out with a key and then make nice fancy looking homes along here and a bit more production just to kind of round off the area so it's not just a straight cut and make it maybe come up a little bit more but we could do that um is there larger pieces of key uh, additional decorative pieces e wall trim e wall floor block diagonal so that'd probably be the smarter way to go is set these up let's uh screw with this for a second if we do out to here oh i really wish these would be insta-built i know i'd obviously be cheating because we got to know where this is going. So we can do a bit of a diagonal, come out, a bit of a diagonal. Now that could be an issue. I don't know if there's like a hard limit to how many... Uh... Let's let that run for a sec. Oh, they are instant. You just got to run it for a sec. Okay. Good to know. So if we throw these in, I'm assuming deconstruction would be instant as well. Build it. Thank you. We throw these around here. Uh, that should be all right. Build it. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain to get this to uh, fill in all these spots. But I think this is going to be a nice way to clean up this area a little. I'd be straight across there. And then we have a big straight here. So that's actually useful for something if we want it. Uh, that one never got built. There you go. Uh, and then we have another. What's that? Oh, that's just trim. Yeah, so we can put the trim up on that as well. That way we have a bit of a fence. Uh, is there... Yeah, there's the diagonal trim. Okay, so that's fine. What's that? Uh, road seamless decoration. E-wall piece that connects the wall to road seamlessly without showing grass underneath. Okay. That's going to be useful. Is where I wish there was diagonal roads too. And I'm not talking like the zigzag diagonal. I'm talking like a, pr a proper diagonal. If we ran that across there. This is, this should be a whole episode thing. So people know what they're getting into. Oh, that's got borders on it. I going to say, because we can cut the amount of pieces we're doing here. Put that in, please. Uh, that also has the decorative. So... We could then use these across here. Is there a problem with that? But I think that's a nice way to go. And then we could do it the same on this side. And basically anywhere... I wish... Hmm. I wish all these buildings would fit nicely together and not look weird. I, I guess that's asking a little much. But if we grabbed... That along there and then the road could still zigzag up this way and obviously it branch in from like over here or something I think that would look nice this isn't really planned to be a nice dock area although I have looked at the dock pieces in here and oh, oh those are key buildings oh the key buildings although they're all on stilts I'm assuming that's... Yeah, we could place it on the water. So we could have it so these are, like, off. I wouldn't do that. Because they'd make more sense to be on the inside. Um, under building key. Oh, so under these, you could then add these. Okay. Okay, I get what they're getting at. We can also replace some of these with these pieces to help uh, limit the amount of pieces we're using. Because again, I don't know if the game has a harder time with more just buildings in general. Or if it's mostly just down to the AI itself and the amount of buildings aren't really a problem. That'd be good for proper corners. Not so much over here. Although we could. But since we're kind of zigzaggy like that, I don't think a proper round corner would make a lot of sense. Uh, where was the key diagonal that we were using? 
Oh, that was in here. Yeah, so kind of what I was thinking. We can then bring that across here. We'll leave this and maybe for the next, because I don't really plan on using right here right now. Over the next couple episodes, uh, at the end, I'll try to find a way to make time for it. Or even a proper episode. Just fuck around with this decorative stuff for a while. But I kind of like it. I don't know what I really want to do with it. But I do like it. Uh, I don't know what we'd do. I still haven't decided if I want to keep this river or not. I think it'd be nice to keep the river and put houses with nice backyards on them. Would probably be the best way. Because the, the main thing that I wanted for this area for is it to be dense and make production. And as we spread out, we could have more suburbia type thing. And then obviously we could do farms and shit way back here. And then as we move over this way, I want a good sized city, but a fancy city instead of a slum. Even though these aren't really slums or anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Put those in. We would have to find a way to cap this off, though, for this river. Well, that wouldn't be too hard, I don't think. Because we have a relatively 90 right here. So you could even do something like... That, actually. Maybe a one gap. That way it's just a small creek for right there. And on this side, it'd be straight and have a one tile opening right there. That'd just come down this way and then zag right there a little. That build instantly too? Yes. Let's get uh, that one piece right in there. Yeah, something like that maybe. So yeah, that's, we're going to do this. Like this. I don't know what we'd use this in here for. Because that's going to be a little bit tight. But I'm sure we could find something. But I like that. And we could do the same over here. I kind of wish that this didn't dip it out like this. <clears throat> but what we could do is just basically fill that section right there. So it's just a proper pretty much 90 right there. We'll see once we place them. I think that'll look nice. And then we have the big dock system that's going to go across here and kind of around. Uh, but that's more future stuff. But I'm, I like though, I like that. We have to do the same over here, but that's not really an issue. Um, so for now, we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. So next episode, we should be able to get. Oh, I don't know where all of our people went. Oh, I guess we did throw a whole bunch into more stone mining because we do need a lot. But uh, we'll maybe get some more homes over here while we wait for all this to get cleared. It's gonna take them a little bit, and then. Uh, and then once this gets cleared, we'll get ourselves a small village over here. And then farms and pastures and stuff around it. I think that'll be a good way to go. But uh, either way, for now that is going to be it. So thank you everybody for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. See ya.